Why are we here? Is there a God? What happens after we die? Who determined the laws? Where did the laws come from? Is there a law giver? When we look at the universe, it seems it's ordered, it's mathematical. Wow, it looks like a fix. It looks like it's been designed. The concept of God is deeply embedded in the human psyche. We don't know what God is because he escapes all our categories. Unless you say how God works, saying that God exists doesn't explain anything. It is an irreducible mystery. But if you're religious, it doesn't remove the mystery. I'm Robert Lawrence Kuhn. I was trained in brain science. But all my life I've struggled with God, lurching and lapsing from one side to another, sometimes by design, often by default. Now I begin anew. Into God is my journey. Traveling across America and England to talk about God. Visiting more than 50 philosophers and scientists. Believers and non-believers. Theists and atheists. I hear arguments for God. What I'm going to describe to you is the traditional view about Christianity, Judaism, Islam, of what God is like. It's also the kind of God to which my arguments lead. God is the best explanation for why anything at all exists rather than nothing. God is the best explanation for the origin of the universe. There are some good arguments, but most people don't even know about these arguments. And the question is, why do you have to have an argument? I mean, who says this? I am religious because I have a personal relationship with God. Now, unless you experience the same thing yourself, you haven't a clue what I'm talking about. And I hear arguments for atheism. There's no evidence that we need anything other than the laws of physics and the other laws of science to explain everything we see. There's absolutely no evidence that we need any supernatural hand of God. You've got a gap, so you, you weave a spell. <laughs> and you call it God, you don't call it a spell. If people could come up with a consistent idea of God that had a, a definite purpose to fulfill, that would be much more powerful than this mess of a nasty creature that they seem to uh, want to believe in. If your sister came to you and said, I feel that there's a ghost in my attic, I have no reason to believe in this ghost, you'd feel sorry for her. And that's the way atheists, I think, often view people who believe in God. Is this the kind of world a loving God would create? Why does God permit evil? Maybe his reasons are totally beyond us. It's actually inconceivable that a good and all-powerful and all-knowing God would allow the amount of suffering and disaster and death and famine and disease if you think that God is the creator of everything in the universe, then I think you just have to bite the bullet and say God created evil. Am I too Western? My search for God must transcend my own culture. The assertion of the unity of God in Islam starts with a negation. It's even beyond the concept of being. In the Hindu worldview, God is not like an Easter egg that is hidden somewhere and we try to find. 
from Buddhist view, if you can recognize that world come to be without a creator, then you don't need a God. We don't need a God. If I am to know God, or know there is no God, perhaps the universe shall be my teacher. The universe from the beginning is the kind of universe that one would expect from a creator who in fact sees the future of human beings as part of that universe. If God is truly good, then God would create as many different kinds of reality as God could. If I'm omnipotent, I can just conjure it all into being. There's nothing clever about doing that. But now imagine the universe as a self-generating, self-complexifying thing. That to me looks really deeply ingenious. That looks really clever. I think it's quite likely that the universe has some sort of a mental apparatus, which you can call God if you like. As we learn more and more about the universe, we do not discover that we are part of a cosmic drama in which we play a central role. God is not a game. These issues are deep ones. They're metaphysical. They're related to the entire framework in which the universe itself sits. I don't think my chances or your chances of surviving death are very good if there's no God, right? If there's God, at least there's a pretty reasonable chance. If God does not exist, Belief in God is humanity's monumental folly. What do we need God for? There's plenty of natural arguments to explain why this false belief would arise. I just don't believe in God. I would be shocked and amazed if it turned out there was a God. If God does exist, nothing can be more important. If there is a God, then that explains everything. That is the final terminus of the explanation of the universe and everything we are familiar with. Does God exist? Whatever, however you think, into God will change it. Into God is the best thinking about God on planet Earth.